our first lesson is the continents. Now we know this is called an earth or globe. And this earth has lands. They're called continents. Now the earth is like a ball that spins round and round. That's why it has what? Seven continents that are all around the ball. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven continents. Do you know where Egypt is? Egypt is inside one of the continents. Can you look for Egypt inside all of the continents? Yes, right there. Inside all the continents, there are countries. And Egypt is in a continent called Africa. Now, what is our first continent? Number one, Asia. Starts with an A, S, Asia. Pandas live in Asia. Pandas live in Asia. This is where Asia is. Number one, Asia, where the panda lives. Number two, Africa. Africa, with the A, F, Africa. Lions live in Africa. Lions live in Africa. This is where Africa is. It's also where Egypt is. So Africa, number two, where the lions and Egypt is. This is where Asia, number one, with the panda. And Africa, number two, with the lion. Number three, North America. North America. With an N, Nana North. Remember when we talked about North, South, East, and West? And we know that the North means upward. Now, what lives in the North America? Moose. Moose lives in the North America. Moose lives in North America. Number three is North America, which is up. And it's uh, what lives in North America is moose. Moose. So number one is Asia, where the panda lives. Number two is Africa, where the lion lives. Number three is North America, where the moose lives. Number four, South America. South America with an S. South means downward. So below the North America, there's America. But first, let's see what in the South America are called tropical birds. Tropical birds are full of colors and they live in South America. Tropical birds live in South America, number four. It's underneath North America because it's called South. So it's down. So number one is Asia with the panda. Number two is Africa with the lion, number three is North America with the moose, number four is South America with the tropical birds. Number five is Antarctica. Antarctica, which starts with an A-N. Antarctica. Penguins live in Antarctica. Penguins live in Antarctica. It's all the way down and it's full of ice. That's why penguins like to live in Antarctica because penguins like to live in ice. So number one, Asia with the panda. Number two, Africa with the lion. Number three, North America with the moose. Number four, South America with the tropical birds. Number five, Antarctica with the penguins. Number six, Europe. Europe. Now, there are no many animals in Europe, but there are food. Europe, a country that made pizza. Pizza is made in Europe. If you like pizza, you should know that pizza is made in Europe. Pizza. Europe, number six. Europe, number six. So, number one is Asia with the panda. Number two is Africa with the lion. Number three is North America with the moose. Number four is South America with the tropical birds. Number five is Antarctica with the penguin. And number six is Europe with the pizza. And lastly is what number seven? Australia. Australia with the AU. Australia. Australia.
Kangaroos live in Australia. Kangaroos live in Australia. Here is Australia, number seven. Australia, where the kangaroos live, is the yellow small part, is the smallest continent, Australia. Now let's say it again. Number one, Asia with the panda. Number two, Africa with the lion. Number three, North America with the moose. Number four, South America with the tropical birds. And number five is Antarctica with the penguin. And number six is Europe with the pizza. And number seven is Australia with the kangaroo. Now let's solve the worksheet together. The first page, how many continents are there? One, five, six, or seven? Seven, correct. Now let's put the numbers in the right place and try and remember the right animal. Number one is Asia. The panda lives in Asia. Where is number one? Right here, correct. Number two is Africa. Which animal lives in Africa? The lion. Where is number two? Here. Correct. Number three is North America. Which animal lives in North America? The moose. Correct. Number three. Where is number three? It's here. Correct. North. Upward. Now what's the downward? The south. So what animal lives in South Am America? The tropical bird. And where is South America? Right here. Correct. Next is number five, Antarctica, which is all the way down and is full of ice where penguins live. Number five. Now number six, Europe, where the pizza is. Where is number six? Right here. Correct. Now the last one, number seven, where the kangaroo lives. Australia. Right here. Next lesson is land and water. Now we talked about the land which are called continents and, they're co and they are in the green color. What about the water which is in the blue color? It's, they're called oceans. Oceans and there are five oceans. Let's count them together. There is one, two, three, four, and five. Number one, the first ocean is the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. You see where is the Pacific Ocean written? Number one, pa Pacific Ocean. Number two is the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean is between Africa and South America. It's number two and it's between Africa and South America is the Atlantic Ocean. Number three is the Indian Ocean. Why is it called Indian? Because India is in Asia and the Indian Ocean is right below Asia. The Indian Ocean is right below Asia and that's why it's called the Indian Ocean. Number four, it's Southern. Southern comes from the word South, which is all the way down. So the ocean that's all the way down is the Southern Ocean and it's ocean number four. Number five, the last ocean, which is all the way up, is Arctic Ocean. Arctic Ocean. So how many oceans are there? One, five, six, or seven? Five, correct. Now let's put the right numbers in the right oceans. First is the Pacific Ocean. Where is the Pacific Ocean? Right here. Correct. Now, number two is the Atlantic Ocean, which is between Africa and South America. Number two, right here. Correct. Number three is the Indian Ocean, which is next to India and below Asia. Number three, here. Correct. Number four is Southern, which is all the way down. Number four, correct. Number five is all the way up, the Arctic Ocean. Where is number five? Right here. Correct. Next lesson is types of land forms. We know that the land in green is called land and they're the continents. But all land look the same or do they have different land forms? Let's look at the different land forms that the land has. First, we have 
landforms means first let's look what landform means landforms are the different shapes and sizes of lands around us number one is a mountain mountain a mountain with an m is the highest landform if you look at the land around us you will not find anything higher than a mountain a mountain number two is a hill now hill is a low is lower than a mountain and it has a curvy look like an m like the letter m it's called hill hill number three is a valley a valley are two mountains or hills with the river running in between them a valley is only called a valley if there is a river running between the mountain or hill it's called a valley with the v the, the valley number four is a desert that's a different that's a kind of a landform a desert are full of sand and have little water and little plains it's called a desert it's full of sand only number five it's a plain it ends with an n it starts with a p ends with an n plain plain are flat and low they're flat grounds where we can build houses we cannot build a house on a mountain or a valley but we can build a house on a plain flat and that we can walk on and we can build a house on number six are a plateau plateau are flat high lands they're kind of like mountains they're up high but then they go flat and that's called a plateau it starts with a p and ends with a u plateau it's a flat high lands now let's try and match this together first are plains Let, let's look very closely and look at the picture that show a plain floor where we can build a house and it's only grass it's right here what about a mountain the highest the highest landform right here what about a hill that looks like an m it's right here what about the desert that has cactus in it it's right here what about a plateau which is high but then flat and we can build a house on a plateau it's right here what about the valley which is two mountains and between the two mountains there are a river it's right here correct next lesson is water water where does water come from water come from rivers rivers that has fresh water rivers have fresh water where we can drink from rivers do you know that egypt has a river it's called the nile river next we can bring water from lakes lakes also has fresh water what are the difference between rivers and lakes rivers are long and curvy and lakes are round and surrounded by land next is ocean we can bring water from the ocean but the problem is that the water in the ocean has salty water salty water we cannot drink salty water we can only drink fresh water so if we're gonna take water from the ocean we have to clean it first using a machine next is sea there is also a sea what is a sea it's a part of the ocean that's connected to land it's connected to land and sand we go to the sea we don't go to the ocean which is in the middle of the water we go to the sea to swim where i can sit on the land and then i can go and swim the sea is also salty water there is also ground water ground water are water found underground under the trees and under the soil there are stored water that comes from rain when it rains the ground stores water and it keeps it there so where does water come from water comes from rivers lakes groundwater ocean and sea let's try and solve this worksheet together first i see some i see a long and curvy water what is this called a river so what is a river start with the river with an r next i see a lake a lake what 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 letter does a lake start with la la lake with an l next i see ground water a ground water what Later, does ground water start with g g g ground with the g next i see only water which means it's ocean 
ocean. What letter does an ocean start with? An O. Correct. Next, I see a C. C. What does the C start with? An S. Correct. Next lesson is weather and seasons. The weather. The weather can be sunny. Sunny, which is too hot. The sun is in the sky and it's too big. That's called sunny. Next, it can be cloudy, where the clouds are covering the sun. It's called cloudy with the C. Cloudy. Next, we have rainy, where it's raining again and again. It's called rainy weather. Rainy with an R. Next, we have snowy. S-N. Snowy, where it snows. Of course, it doesn't snow here in Egypt, but if it snows, if it snows outside, we can call the weather snowy. Snowy. What are the four seasons? First is summer. Summer. Summer is very hot. There, this is are the things I can do in summer. I can go to the beach. I can eat ice cream. I can open the fan because the fan brings cold water. I can go to the swimming pool. I can drink cold juice or cold water. And I can open the AC. This all activities I can do in the summer. What about winter? Winter where it's very cold. What can I do in winter? In winter, I can play with snow. This white thing I can play with is called snow. Snow. In winter, I can drink hot milk or hot chocolate because it's very cold. I need something that makes me feel warm. I should drink something hot. Not cold, but hot. Hot milk or hot chocolate. In winter, I don't open the AC. I don't open the fan. I open the heater to bring me hot air. I open the heater. Next is spring. Spring. Spring is a little bit hot, but I can go outside and bike. In spring, I can bike. I can play with my kite because there is wind and there is air. In summer, there is no air. In winter, it's too cold and there is no air. The perfect time to play with your kite is in spring. In spring, I can plant flowers. Flowers like to grow in spring. And in spring, I can go to the park where the weather is perfect. It's not too hot in summer and it's not too cold in winter. It's in spring. I can go to the park. And finally, there is autumn. Autumn. Autumn is a little bit cold. It's not too cold like winter. No, it's just a little cold. In autumn, I can go for a walk. In autumn, I can go for a walk and the leaves, where autumn is where the leaves fall on the ground and they are colored yellow or red. They're not green anymore. They're only green in the spring. But when it comes to autumn, they turn yellow or red and they start to fall. And it's a perfect time to go and walk with my family. In spring, I can eat sweet potato. Sweet potato grows in autumn. So in autumn, I can have a sweet potato. I can also play and jump on a pile of leaves, on a pile of dry leaves. This I can do in autumn where the leaves fall and they turn brown, yellow or red. Now let's solve this together. Which weather, which, uh, let's put the right word in the right picture. The first picture shows sun. Which weather is correct? Sunny, rainy, cloudy or snowy? It's sunny. S-U-N-N-Y. Sunny. Next, it's only clouds. Which word is correct? Sunny, rainy, cloudy, or snowy? It's cloudy. Correct. With the C. Kaka, cloudy. Next, I can see snow coming out of the cloud. Which word is snowy? Sunny, rainy, cloudy, snowy. At the end, snowy. It starts with an S and then an N-O-W-Y. Snowy, snowy. Next, I can see clouds with rain, ra ra rain. So it's the word that starts with an R, rainy, rainy. Next, let's put the right the right word in the right season. First, I see a picture of flowers and biking, and a nice weather. Which which weather is this? Summer, winter, spring, or autumn? It is spring. Correct. Next, I see a beach and a very big sun, which means it's hot. 
When, go, when do I go to the beach? In summer. Summer is very hot. Next, I see a picture of snow. And, huh, and it's very cold. Which weather is this? It's winter. Correct. And lastly, I see people play kids playing with dry leaves dry leaves when do dry leaves starts to fall in autumn correct now just draw what you can do in summer anything you can draw ice cream you can draw an umbrella you can draw i mean an umbrella on the beach you can draw the beach you can draw the swimming pool you can uh, draw a cold ice drink you can draw all of this together whatever you want to draw just draw it Thank you.